Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC. And we got a vehicle in front of us and this is the first car that I can honestly say I'm scared of. Uh, I'll explain why, but yeah, in general, I consider myself pretty knowledgeable about RC cars, a lot of experience. You know, honestly, I think I'm probably one of the more informative channels out there. And uh, there's not much that kind of scares or intimidates me when it comes to RC, but this one does. And yeah, I got a new vehicle from your RC. So a special shout out to them for sponsoring this series of vehicles. Uh, we or videos, not vehicles. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a 5% off coupon code in the description below. They carry this as well as tons of other RC cars. Uh, Team Corrali, HPI, X-Ray, Tamiya, uh, Traxxas, Arma, pretty much anything you could want. Uh, they carry and it's under five euro shipping throughout Europe. So fast, cheap. 5% off, um, and especially with the exchange rates nowadays, check out their prices because they definitely fluctuate depending on what the conversion is and uh, depending on the strength of you know the dollar or wherever you live compared to the euro, it may differ. So yeah, big shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I got something new on this channel. What do we got here? Ready to run first buyer's guide. So I've never seen this from before from URC, so nice little uh, leaflet to explain um, you know, I guess the basics of RC cars and probably a good thing they sent this to me because while I consider myself pretty knowledgeable about RC cars, this is one thing I've never had. And you already saw what that is. If I can get this out of the box. We got ourselves a nitro car, nitro. Yes, nitro power, not electric, not lipo, not nickel metal hydride. Nickel hydride, not gas, nitro. I've never had a nitro car. I've never even driven a nitro car. I've never even started a nitro car. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing with this thing, but we're gonna try it out. This is the HPI Racing Trophy three and a half. I think, is that CC? Someone let me know. I don't even know what that means. Is that cubic inches, cubic centimeters? Is it 0.35 cubic centimeters? I have no idea what I am doing. So I decided to get a ready run. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, electric stuff, I have no problems with. I could build stuff in my sleep, figure out the electronics, how to test it, tune it, put it together. But with nitro, I, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, it's waterproof. I didn't know that. Are nitro cars waterproof? I guess they are. Aluminum steering plates. So this is the Trophy 3.5, uh, obviously a scale nitro buggy from HPI. It's been around for a long time. Um, I think that is some kind of limitation on the motor for racing. So there are some specs on what you can actually put in. You know, I think they make a 4.6 uh, motor as well, or engine. Uh, they're not even really motors, huh? They're engines. I can say that word engine, the E word. Not electric, engine. Nitro power, strong chassis, okay. Three millimeters, 6061. Racing shock. So I think this vehicle, the Trophy, is similar to the Vorza. I think the Vorza, they only make an electric version. Um, so there is no Vorza 3.5 or three. There's even 3.5, is it three and a half? I don't even know how you, how you call these things. Um, so two servos, I never had an RC car, two servos, well, I guess I have, uh, but two high torque waterproof servos, some sort of receiver box, which you put your receiver in. I don't know. Is that different than the battery rocks? I have no idea. Turn buckles, proto block tires. Okay. I know what those are. Shaft driven four wheel drive. I know what that is. Racing shocks. Okay. Makes sense to me. Air filter. Never used an air filter before. I mean, on my art, my real car, obviously. Um, but uh, more shock tower or more racing shock towers 6061. Okay, F 3.5 engine powerful nitro star. Okay, uh, blah blah blah. Race tuning two and a half, two and a half horsepower, two and a half horsepower. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. I don't know. Uh, rear sway bar, good to know. I know what a sway bar is, so that's good. So, I would say if you're getting into RC. Nitro is probably not the first thing to get because um, they seem like they're like 10 times more complicated than electric and it's almost like driving, learning how to drive. My son, you know, learned how to drive about a year ago and, uh, you know, now he's kind of curious about stick shift cars and stuff. 
And I'm like, okay, well, you got to learn how to drive an automatic first. Get that down. Then you got to learn how to drive a stick shift. And I kind of feel it's the same way with RC cars. Get an electric car, learn how that works. And then if you're crazy, you know, try the nitro thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Looks like I need some stuff. Car carburant, glow fuel, glow fuel. Is that just nitro fuel? Fuel bottle, glow plug. I think I know what that is. Some batteries. Okay. So I do have some stuff on order from Amazon. And going to be, uh, you know, I guess a starter kit or whatever. And um, hopefully I have what I need. I know I need to break in the engine. Uh, like five tanks are full, you know, starting out just idle and then go on a quarter throttle, half throttle, eventually three quarters throttle, full throttle. And then, uh, then I can run it. I don't know. So here it is. Some cardboard. A wing this is very familiar to me uh, some stuff here in the back which I guess has got some other stuff let's take a look apologies if this is boring but I've never had a nitro car I don't even really know what they look like exactly I don't you know I was checking out RC driver he had a video just explaining what all the parts are on a nitro car Whoa, what is this heaviest thing? okay Cardboard radio, I'm familiar with TF41. Does have throttle, trim, and endpoints. So, yes, for you Nitro people, I think you need that because you've got a servo. We've got some batteries for the transmitter. Now, I never knew that this was actually like a Nitro wrench. I just thought it was a 17 millimeter hex wrench for your 17 millimeter wheels, and I didn't ever understand why there were all these other things. Uh, what is that, an air filter? I don't know. Maybe. Shock. Preload spacers, I know what that is. Um, some more batteries. So I've never had a car with more than four batteries. It looks like, I think that's where the receiver, double A powered. And here's the actual car. Oh, okay, this thing is heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Some instructions, antenna tube, which I guess is important. You don't want your nitro powered car getting away from you. Some stickers, power, power, power fuel. No one wants to see that. Do you guys want to see that? Nobody wants to see that. And here is the vehicle itself. All right, let's pull off all this stuff. Body clips. I know what that is. These are huge body clips. Is that normal? That's a huge body clip. All right, let's pull off the body. Got a huge hole in it for some reason. I think mine must be defective because Got a bunch of holes in it. That doesn't make any sense. What's over that? A lot of caution. <laughs> Stop. Caution. Do not proceed. Read manual. I think these things can kill you. I don't know. I feel like this thing has a higher probability of killing yourself with this than with an electric car. I guess an electric car, you know, the light bulb could catch on fire. This thing, the fuel could catch on fire. Things could explode. There's moving parts. I don't know. All right. So this is what it looks like. Skinny shocks, you know, I think the trophy is a little bit down spec from the Vorza. I know the Vorza's got pretty big, I don't know, 16 millimeter shocks or so. These look more like 12, not even 14 millimeter shocks. Kind of standard HPI shocks. Surely, suspension feels a little soft as well. I don't know. Um, and then you got all this stuff. You got all this stuff. You got a servo here, a servo there. Springs, I think some humongous on off switch there to turn the car on off. Uh, okay, you got a big antenna. I don't know, what am I looking at? I'm looking at stuff. You got a center differential, you got, I think these are brakes on here, I don't know. So when you, when you I don't know, accelerate, you probably do this. When you brake, you do that. I don't know, what's going on here? It's got a bunch of linkages. This is doing something. Somehow you slow down. Oh, this looks like it's pulling this thing, which I guess applies brakes. I guess you got brake pads. I don't know. You got some, I don't know, idle adjustment, high low. I have no idea. Uh, you got a pipe. I believe this is called an exhaust pipe. I think this is where it comes out to the side, I guess. You got zip ties, some sort of connector here. The header, I believe. The I don't know what you call this. The... The heat, heat, head, heat, heat sink. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know what this is made. Is this steel? Feels like steel. 
I believe the whole engine is steel. Um, you got a turnbuckle here for some reason. I don't think that's a nitro thing. I think that's just an HPI thing, but you got turnbuckles from the top plates to the chassis, I guess to tune flex or something. Um, so this is an older car. It's a little less expensive than your usual RTR nitro powered car. And to be honest with you, I mean, I was thinking about different brands, Traxxas, HPI. I think Hobile still makes nitro vehicles. I don't know who else makes like RTR. Whoa, what the heck? Is this free spinning? What's up with that? <laughs> there's no motor or there's an engine, but it's not hooked up. There's no, I don't know. There's a clutch somewhere hooking these. So I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but if you have tips on how to learn about nitro cars, please throw them in the description below. I, I gotta admit, I'm not used to being in this position where I have no idea what I'm talking about. Like even this unboxing video has gotta be the worst unboxing video ever. These are motor mount adjustments. I believe this is, I don't know the center diff center diff. No, that's not even the center diff. It's, is that a starter? I have no idea what you can do with that. Like, why is there a cutout here for that thing? I think some sort of starter box, you can do something with that. I'm not really sure. Couldn't tell you, nice black aluminum chassis, plastic side guards, uh, Phillips head screws, what? Okay, not impressed with that. Um, like, is nitro even, what is it? It's flammable, obviously. Is it toxic? Is it, uh, corrosive is it dangerous you know will it eat paint will it eat this wood somebody let me know i have no idea um looks like you got all right the stuff i do know it looks like you got uh oh looks like cvs in the front i think cvs in the front maybe dog bones in the rear this thing needs a ton more preload so it's got no preload spaces out of the box it looks like dog bones in the rear sway bars i would say you need to add at least you know, a huge clip on this thing. Um, yeah, it's cool. Not not super expensive. I'm not sure what these retail for in the U.S. I think they're like four or five hundred bucks. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I have no idea what goes bad on these things. It looks like you got a server saver spring. Um, so hopefully this thing is durable. Um, I don't think I'm going to be like sending this like super high like I do my electric stuff. I don't think nitro is meant for that. I could be wrong. Maybe you're supposed to launch these things, you know, 30 feet high, but I don't think so. Um, so we will see. Yeah. So it looks like a big spring to hold on the exhaust. Anyways, um, I don't know what else to tell you because I don't know anything else to say because I don't really know anything about this. Um, but this will be kind of an exciting journey. I'm sort of scared, kind of excited, kind of nervous all at the same time. Uh, this is going to be fun. I think, I hope, uh, I asked my buddy, you know, what, 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 how do I get into nitro? What do I need to know? What, you know, what do I learn? He's like, well, just take a two by four and, smack yourself up the head, you know, five times, and that'll be pretty much the same experience. <laughs> so, like, I'd be a little nervous, we'll see. But uh, I do have friends that do this, so uh, hopefully um, they can help me out as well. Anyways, that's it for the unboxing video of the Trophy, HPI Trophy 3.5. Is it three and a half or 3.5? Someone let me know. Um, this will be exciting. I mean, hopefully I can get this thing started running and not blow up and destroy it but uh, uh yeah that's about it anyways uh don't forget to hit the like share subscribe add notifications buttons look for more videos soon on this nitro powered buggy and uh thanks for watching take care